I think celebrities have also proved how kind of uninteresting they are when they're not doing their job of you know their job of choice or they're not performing on the platform that they are experts or geniuses at outside of that when they're just trying to interact with humanity and just be normal people they are so corny that Jeremy they do the most idiotic things and again in their head they think this is fun um they think like going around and sending you know these little voice clips of themselves or these little selfie videos of themselves singing John Legend Imagine and clipping it together to somehow unite the world is like as if we're this is what we're going to be we're waiting for this right as humanity we were sitting there just hoping to see Gal Gadot and you know Natalie Portman and Zoe Kravitz singing and we'd be like yeah now everything's going to be okay it's like come on man wind it in no one gives a shit what we have to say um and it's just nonsense especially because they're all performers they're all entertainers so they're all kind of doing that fucking weird singy thing i'll play it here if you get to see but it's just ugh, so cringe no heaven. it's easy if you try oh really no hell below us and there's people here who are rate as well on it that's what makes it hard for me to watch there's actors on here who are rate as people who are just subjecting themselves to this bullshit. But again, it must be hard, isn't it? If, if your agent calls you and says, Gal Gadot wants you to do this video and you say no, you don't want to not be invited to the next Golden Globes party, right? You want to make sure you go to these shindings and smooch because that's how you get, you know, forward in your career. But also, this is like going to live forever, right? Once this is over, you're going to look like such a prat, right? Like when they sort of, the, like this doesn't contribute to anything, right? Who gives a shit about you singing? Above us on this like this guy, like what is it? Imagine what's... all the people. <laughs> I think someone tweeted the other day, like actors and actresses or in general, or, you know, entertain people, they they are so, un, they're so uninteresting and when they're not saying other people's words, right? And which is kind of a bad indictment, right? That you're only of interest or you only have some sort of, appeal about you and other people are putting words in front of you to read it's just ugh. but in their heads again they think they're kind of moving the needle because they pretend to be somebody on a tv screen it's like all right for today. <laughs> who's this guy singing in the bathroom like tilting his head back like he's michael jackson like who the fuck is this <laughs> cringe it isn't hard no nah, i allow it man i'm not i'm not looking at jimmy fallon trying to sing that's not on but um that was one and then there's just been a whole slew of them in it there's been uh i think i saw a video was it sam smith doing his best impression of it which is just like oh he's just like come on dude man you should there's better things you should be doing i don't know play the piano look after your cats i don't know something other than this but you know here he goes Let's get this up on the air. And let's and let's actually let's actually go read read the caption because the caption is even more cringe than the actual video itself. I think it's just fair to say that, especially with the guys, right? Mental health issues or um <sighs> body dysmorphia sort of stuff is a way of being it's not a way of being quirky but it does kind of give people who have like no no personality or nothing else to offer the world a way to kind of be relatable because he's been on a whole entire run in it of like i'm embracing my body all this sort of nonsense constantly talking to us about his emotions like you know okay cool man we get it you're going through some stuff but it's just a constant barrage and now look at the look at the look at the caption for this video of him sitting in his room somewhere trying to act like you know like a shy timid guy that hasn't sold millions of records and performed on the biggest stages in the world right um just woke up having a coffee and felt like singing i haven't felt like singing for a few weeks now it feels good have a beautiful day today everyone the sun is out for you xxx like what what are you talking about brother what the world needs now is love sweet love does it is that what the world needs right now love sweet love really i think we need medicine mate we need uh, ventilators we need masks and shit instead of wasting your time sitting on your floor somewhere singing into a camera why don't you donate some of your millions that you've 
garnered from singing shitty pop songs and get people masking a little hospital again i'm not telling you how to spend your money but surely that is more worthwhile does he think they're playing this through the hospital speakers when people are on their icu and you know getting shock treatment and having last minute surgeries to keep them alive does he think they're playing this through the system to get people in good spirits like fuck here in hell it's just i don't know and I hope I hope that people remember this once this is over. I hope people remember the corny, self, uh, you know, self enti- entitled, self absorbed, um, disingenuous people who somehow thought it was a good idea to do this sort of stuff. I hope people remember them and they vote with their feet. And it's like you know what, you c- you can sing pretty well, you make some good songs, right? But you were an absolute wanker during this whole period. I'm not going to support it anymore because this is just insane. Like, why can't you just not do anything? Just sit at home, right? You know, throw up the odd tweet here and there of support. Why can't you just chill? Why do you have to do this? Like, why? It makes no sense, but... It's just a constant barrage of these fucking videos from celebrities. Again, they just... I don't know if they just... They just have nothing... When they have nothing to do, so, which probably explains why some of them kind of, um, you know, get trapped in the drugs and alcohol thing because they just get bored. I'd imagine if you're someone... Especially if you're successful. I think when you're not successful, it might be a little bit easier, maybe. I don't know. To kind of just focus on your thing that you want to do. I don't know. But maybe if you've attained a level... So imagine you won like a Grammy, right? An Oscar or some shit. You've got a, a really high-rated album. It's reviewed well on Pitchfork. You've got good reviews on Rolling Stone there might become a bit where there might become a point where you're just a bit you know you've reached your ceiling right in terms of your level of talent you've got good enough money in the bank you've got an attractive wife somewhere and you're just bored isn't it nothing you literally have nothing to do you don't have motivation to make a new record because you're living this fast flashy life that doesn't necessarily bring the most artistic work to the forefront really right you usually make your best work when you're dead broke so maybe if you've got a bit of money now you're not inspired so it makes sense why they get you know they get strung out on drugs and they go a bit crazy because they have nothing to do because if you're seeing what's happening now it's only been two weeks right it's been maybe a couple of weeks or sometimes in the maximum four weeks some of these people have been indoors some of them have families right they're not even spending time with their kids they're just on camera looking talking to us via social media giving us live streams of their families and doing these weird games like just sit down with your kids man they haven't seen you in a year and a half you know what i mean like i don't know enjoy some t- family time it's a bizarre way to d- go about things but again maybe again maybe it's not even them maybe it's their agents and managers telling them to keep pumping out content so directors don't forget about them but i'm pretty sure this isn't the time to be promoting yourself like that in that regard maybe i don't know who knows man who knows but I for one I'm loving it because the level of cringe that it's apply you know it's supplying me with is you know um is really legendary for my entertainment. But yeah, um to end it we've got Madonna. She did a video too. Everyone's doing videos, everyone's kind of out there swinging around and she looks mad, isn't it? She's had probably a bit of work done herself, but she's just I don't know, man. She's just singing and she's just singing with a brush. being quirky and fun and relatable in in a, in a in a bathroom that looks probably the same size as my living room you know obviously super relatable <laughs> it's like what are you doing I just want to die that's it i just want to die when i see that i want to die i want to what's that who's the guy from uh, game of thrones the kid when his mum finally kills his wife and he just jumps out the window it's just like bloody hell man some of the stuff is just nauseating to see especially if you're a fan as well if you're a fan of them as well it must be like oh come on sit down madonna jesus christ go braid your boyfriend's hair or something do you know what i mean it's like you don't anyway what do i know